So I've had a lot of people asking about reducing uh, triangle counts in MeshMixer, and uh, that's actually already possible in MeshMixer 04, so this is just going to be a little tutorial about how to configure uh, the brushes to, to do reducing. So we've got this mesh here, it's a pretty high-res mesh, it's about 500,000 triangles. I mean, you can see, we turn on the wireframe, it's got probably a lot more triangles than it needs. Um, so I'm going to show you how to sort of clean up this mesh uh, as an example of doing reducing. Um, okay, so I find that the best way to do reducing is with the bubble smooth brush. This one, so this one kind of smooths outward, so it tends to not shrink as you're doing the reducing. So it's switched to bubble smooth. I mean, it's also set as a secondary brush, so I can use it by holding shift, but it'll, the tutorial will be easier if it's on the primary. So the first thing you want to do is turn the strength way down so that there's not actually much smoothing happening if you're going to want to do reducing. Um, and then, so if we do that with bubble smooth, what we see is that not, you know, not much actually happens when we brush. It'll smooth in the sort of rougher areas. Um, but we have this reduce parameter. If we start returning reduce up, let's try setting it up at 10. You can see now as it's going to zoom in, you can see it's sort of mostly flipping there. Set it up a little bit higher. Starting to reduce a little bit in some of these areas, you can see. So basically, this parameter is connected to the brush size, so that this is like a ratio of the brush size or a fraction. There we go. So we set up 25. Now we get some pretty significant reducing. Um, and what you can see is the surface also is going to get smoother in those areas where we do the reducing. And so, yeah, if I make the brush size bigger, I'm going to get bigger triangles. Um, so it's pretty good when you want to do reducing to sort of keep a, if you want to do really serious reducing, is sort of step up a little bit. So you start with a sort of small brush, and then if we wanted to get um, really reduced in an area, you just slowly increment the brush size and repaint over top, um, and then the triangles will get bigger and bigger. So if you don't do that, what you get is these edges here where um, you have sort of a pretty extreme change in triangle size, and those tend to not look very nice. Um, so what we can do then, if we make the brush bigger, of course, we can turn reduce down a little bit. Maybe I'll set it down here so we can use a bigger brush. Um, And we'll just paint around here and get rid of a lot of these extra triangles. So the mesh will get a little bit smoother, but you know, in this example, clearly the mesh is pretty noisy anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And you can see we're down to like 350,000 triangles now. Um, and you know, it's nice having it on a brush like this because you can ignore areas that you want to keep. So in here it's still a little bit noisy. So you could turn up smoothing, or you could go and do a smoothing pass afterwards. But like the lips here, I think actually scan pretty well, and I don't, if I do a big reducing, you're going to lose a lot of that sort of detail. So what you can do then is go in with a smaller brush and reduce around the edges you want to keep. Um, and you'll keep your detail that way. And then you can use a bigger brush where you want to get rid of detail. Um, so let's just this is all kind of noisy. Um, and so, you know, that's still quite a lot of triangles, but if you really want to get down, you can just start making a bigger brush and going crazy. Um, you know, get that down, and that's down to 200,000. There's really no limit. You can reduce it as much as you want. You can crank this way up and go really reduced. And I mean, that's probably not what you want most of the time. But if you just wanted the basic shape as a starting model, you can do that kind of reducing. Um, and there's one other thing, if you are cleaning up scans and stuff like that, that you might want to know about. Let's get that back. Um, and that's that you can just cut off regions. So the lasso tool, um, you know, if you make a big stroke, it selects that whole region. And then you can just click discard. So we can sort of cut off these areas that sometimes it selects the wrong side. So you just click invert and you'll get the right side. We can cut off these areas that, you know, clearly aren't really very good anyway, um, and sort of unrecoverable. So there we go. Now we're down to 13,000 triangles. You know, we can clean up in there, and this is a sort of nice low-res mesh if you wanted to start sculpting something else on top. Uh, okay, and don't forget, if you do 
when you're doing this, make sure you set your smoothing brush parameters back, because otherwise when you go to smooth later, it's going to throw away all your triangles. It's probably not what you want. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye.